Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler Weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We are mostly quiet across the entire arc from this. We had some light patchy fog and some haze earlier, but that has since dissipated as the sun has risen across the entire viewing area. And we're expecting plenty of sunshine today. We won't hardly have any clouds in the sky, but the biggest problem is going to be how hot it's going to be later on this afternoon. But if you have any outdoor plans, definitely get out there and do it right now because it's fairly pleasant with temperatures mainly in the 70s. We're currently at 74 degrees right now here at Monroe and Dew Point right at 71, and the winds are overall calm. Now across the region, everyone's really in the lower 70s at 73 from Camden through El Dorado and also in Ruston. 74 also in Monticello. We're currently at 81 over in Shreveport, the warmest area really across the area. Now Doppler radar is not tracking anything within our viewing area, but we are tracking some shower thunderstorms just up to the north and parts of Arkansas out of ahead of another funnel system, but it's not going to be hitting our way. It would actually be nice if it was because it would actually bring us some rain cooled air, but unfortunately we're not expecting a whole lot as far as rain chances because this current uh, stationary front will be exiting the area. High pressure is going to start building across the region and we're going to see plenty of sunshine, but the temperatures, they're just going to keep climbing, and unfortunately, the heat index will be high as well. We'll have excessive heat warnings across the entire Arkland this viewing area as the heat index will be above 110 degrees. So, for your pool forecast, if honestly, it's not really going to be advised at all to even be outdoors because it's just going to be so humid out there. Heat stress and heat stroke can set in very quickly, so definitely be extra careful. Wear plenty of sunscreen. You can be out by the pool. If you have to be working, just remember to take frequent breaks from work or exercise, really in an AC-cooled room when you're taking those breaks and also remember to stay hydrated because like I said heat stroke can set in very quickly and easily. Now the stationary front will start to exit the area. High pressure starts building just down to our south. Winds will also stay out of the south and kind of the southwest. We'll see an influx of moisture from the Gulf allowing dew points to be high and temperatures they're just going to stay on the warmer side but fortunately there might be a relief in sight as we have a frontal system that will be coming in later next week which could bring us some rain chances and because of that temperatures will start to fall off a little bit so there is a little bit of relief in sight, but until then, we got to deal with the triple digit temperatures for this afternoon. We'll see plenty of sunshine. A few clouds will be possible across the Mississippi River Valley, and then as we go overnight tonight, we'll remain mostly clear, but temperatures still going to be warm, and through tomorrow, we'll be even hotter. Temperatures will be climbing once again, as we'll be under that dome of high pressure for the next couple of days, and unfortunately, triple digit temperatures could last even into this weekend. Expecting a high about 100 degrees for today. The heat index, like I said, will be above 110. Tonight will be a warm and clear night with a low only about 79 degrees, and tomorrow, we'll see temperatures really even hotter, 102 expected for the daytime high tomorrow. As we look at the seven day forecast, shower thunderstorms could help to cool us off as we go into Sunday and Monday of next week. And temperatures will start to drop a little bit out of the triple digits and get into the mid 90s by Monday and Tuesday next week. So not much of a relief, but it's definitely better, to, better than nothing. Temperatures will stay mainly in the upper 70s and stay in the 80s as we go to the overnight lows that much next week. Stay tuned. You're watching Fox 14, your morning news.